What's up everybody, it's Sean here back today to give you guys a review of the livestock collaboration with Adidas Consortium on the EQT Support 93. So this year marks the 30th anniversary of the iconic Adidas equipment line. And as such, Adidas has a ton of collaborations set up with partners like for example Atmos and Overkill to celebrate the rich history of Adidas EQT. So this is a collaboration with Canadian Boutique Livestock and this EQT 93 released on September 10th for a price of 170 Canadian dollars or 135 USD. The official colorway for this shoe is Grey 2 and Grey 3 and the inspiration behind this design was based off of the prototyping, development and design process. So throughout the design of this shoe, you'll see tools of the trade, for example, materials that are inspired by tracing paper and grid-like materials. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in this brown colored cardboard box with the classic EQT green colored hits. We have the Adidas Performance logo on one side. We have the Adidas Consortium logo on the other side, along with another Consortium logo right here. When I bought this pair over at Livestock here in Toronto, they also threw in this three pack of socks as well, along with this Adidas EQT Book 2. So these were really nice added touches. I totally didn't expect to get these at all. So honestly, this is really good value for 170 Canadian dollars. So again, this shoe is inspired by the development and prototyping process. So diving straight into the details, a good portion of the upper, especially on the toe box as you can see right here, this is done in this translucent finish in this micro mesh material. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this synthetic suede, and we have these little green ticks surrounding it, resembling the look of a ruler. And on the lateral side, we have livestock and equipment co-branding. Overlaid on the sides on both sides of the shoe, we have this darker gray suede with this green grid-like pattern to it, and then moving down, covering the eyelets of the shoe, we have more of that light gray synthetic suede, along with these three gray colored TPU eyelets. Beneath this, the eyelets are connected to these three nylon straps, which gives you that classic Adidas three stripe look. And then underneath this, we have more of that micro mesh material. We have this accent color of green underneath, along with another hit of suede on the very bottom. Moving downwards on the lateral side, we have more of that grid pattern suede, but on the medial side, the wing support here is actually constructed out of this yellow colored TPU. This again has this tick mark pattern to it, resembling the look of a ruler. Covering the middle portion of the back heel, we have more of that light gray colored suede, and embroidered in the center, we have the Adidas logo on the left foot and Livestock's logo on the right foot. At the very top, we have more of that grid pattern darker suede, and wrapping around the bottom of the back heel, we have this dark gray colored TPU heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. Connected to the laces, we have these lace locks, which has support branding on it. And then intertwining through this, we have these light gray colored laces, which matches perfectly with the rest of the shoe. But if you want to add some added pop and color, they give you a secondary pair of these dark green colored laces, along with two extra lace locks as well, one set done in green and the other in yellow. So underneath these laces, the tongue is also constructed out of that translucent micro mesh material. So this means the color of your socks definitely matters for this pair. Near the top, we have this 3M tag with the Adidas Consortium logo found on the right foot and the Adidas Performance logo on the left foot. And at the top, the tongue is outlined in this synthetic suede, along with a secondary green layer underneath for additional reinforcement. Moving on to the insoles, so these come with custom branded insoles, which feature that grid-like pattern that we saw earlier on the body of the shoe. So we have Adidas and Livestock co-branding on the right foot, along with Adidas Consortium branding found on the left foot. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this very chunky EVA foam midsole. The midsole is painted in this gray finish except for the back heel where we have this hit of green. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole which is constructed out of this black colored rubber. We have this oval shaped traction pattern found throughout. And in the middle, we have this bright yellow colored torsion bar which gives you torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering how these fit, Generally speaking, they do run true to size, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10, and they fit me slightly roomy, but overall decently. So there's about a thumb's width between the top of the shoe and the top of my toe, and I feel like if you're in between sizes, you should go for the smaller size. But otherwise, true to size should be okay if you don't mind a little bit extra room in the toe box. I also tried this going a half size down, and while there was no extra space in the toe box, overall it just felt a little bit too snug. Next up in terms of comfort, so overall nothing too special with this pair. This is technically a shoe from 1993 and the cushioning isn't that advanced. So with that said, it had a decent semi-firm cushioning setup and I wasn't exactly blown away by it, but just for everyday casual use, it's gonna feel perfectly fine. It definitely felt more comfortable in the heel of the shoe than the forefoot and you can tell that obviously by the look of the shoe, but you can really feel it too. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so the majority of the materials on this shoe are synthetic. 
So with that said, I wouldn't say that this pair had a really premium feel to it. However, with a wide variety of materials, the overall build on my pair was perfectly fine. I think Adidas and Livesock did a pretty good job on this, even if the materials didn't feel like they were really, really top notch. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, even though I'm much more of a ZX or ZX guy compared to EQT, this of course being a collaboration with Canada's own livestock, I had to show love and support and grab a pair. Honestly speaking though, I think they did a pretty good job on the design. I like the colorway of the grays, the greens, and the splashes of yellow. And I think incorporating the translucent toe box was a nice fun added touch. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this livestock Adidas EQT Support 93. What are your overall thoughts on the silhouette and what do you think of the design of this pair specifically? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. You can also check out my podcast called The Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version is hosted right here on my YouTube channel, but if you're looking for just the audio-only version, it's hosted on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you so much for watching, thank you for the continued love and support, Hopefully you guys like this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.